Then it's time to start planting our garden this year. And as you can tell, we kind of upgraded our 590 this year. Uh, we still have that tractor, but it struggled last year uh, working this John Deere 71 planter. So I picked up a 1025R a couple weeks ago, uh, and we use it every single day with, with the chickens and everything else. Uh, I bought a John Deere iMatch. I know several people have Harbor Freight and, and other models, but if you're going to spend this much money on a tractor, you might as well get the best that you can because I've seen quite a few Harbor Freights on YouTube already uh, starting to break down and actually parts break off. Uh, one gentleman had one of the handles break off the first day he had it. So I went ahead and spent the extra money and I think it'll be worth it in the end to get the iMatch from John Deere. And uh, this is the same planter, the 71, that we used last year behind the 590. That's in our first video that we posted. And I purchased a three-point mount. It's not exactly iMatch compatible. It fits, uh, but to be able to get it off, I'm gonna have to pull that top pin and then just take it off that way. So we'll give you a quick video and show you um, how easy it works with the with the three point. Xander, go ahead and start it up and, and raise it. So when it gets time to plant, uh, we'll probably have a drone available and uh, we'll shoot out a video that way. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.